New at four, heavy hitters tackle hot button issues in San Joaquin County as the state attorney general comes to Stockton. This was the first time Mayor Michael Tubbs and Attorney General Massetta had a face to face discussion to talk about some tough issues. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Stockton this afternoon with more on today's special meeting. Yeah, the invitation to have the California Attorney General here in town came from a tweet from Stockton Mayor Michael Tubbs. And the discussion here ranged from the homeless to transgendered individuals in the military to the future of DACA. Immigration was the key focus of the roundtable discussion with concerns over the recent letter sent by Attorney General Jeff Sessions, threatening cities like Stockton to withhold federal funding if local law enforcement does not notify Homeland Security about the detainment of undocumented individuals. Mayor Michael Tubbs again stressed that police in Stockton will never stop, detain, or question anyone solely on suspicion of their immigration status. There was also talk about climate change, providing support and programs programs for the homeless and they talked about transgendered service members. Attorney General Becerra says if you have an able-bodied person ready to serve, the country should let them serve. His office is ready to defend the rights of those individuals in service. In regards to the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, or DACA, President Donald Trump is expected to announce his plans for the future of the program on Friday. Becerra says DACA is fully lawful and has shown success, not just in the dreamers themselves, but their communities and the economy. We are going to do everything we have to to protect the people who live in and around our cities and in our state. So we're going to do all the law enforcement we're supposed to do to keep our public safe. But we are not the federal immigration enforcement authorities. And no matter what President Trump decides on the future of DACA, the California Attorney General says he's ready to fight for the program. Carlos, thank you. Straight ahead.